Okay. Okay. So that's a, that's what I was thinking. And so well, I work with people that are from Venezuela, Nigeria. I work with people that are from uh, Slovakia and places they don't like not everywhere has internet that can be a good connection to draw on digital. And so that's what I was wondering about. That's the one thing that I've noticed feedback. It's not working for some of my artists. So interesting because uh, you know we do have a lot of people from Venezuela. Beatriz is originally from there. We have people from uh, Latin America. Are at the beginning, you know, we that's kind of how we grew our our user base, uh, and so uh, we are aware of that. But at the same time, you, you know, we have a feature where you can save your drawing. So if you are unable to okay. it at the time, then you can come back to it. And, and it'll save it where you're at? Because I, I started saving my art. Sure. I did one on Dead NYC and saved it, but I didn't know, like, if my connection just cut off, would would it still remember my drawing? Yeah. It's, a, it's, auto, it's auto saving for a period okay. of time. Okay. Like if, it's, I think it's every five minutes or something like oh, that. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, but but the, the, to answer uh, a little bit more, there are two things what I think is important that we don't do uploading. I mean, yeah. We may do in the, in the future. Um, yeah, plagiarism the, and stuff maybe. The, the first reason was that we wanted, we wanted to make sure that anyone could just go in there and, and do their art. So that it was not intimidating, that it was easy. So the tools are super, super simple, and people just start there. It's very easy. They start doodling. So if you're not, if you don't consider yourself an artist, uh, it's welcoming for you. Right, right. But if you, but if you are an artist, then what we wanted to people to to feel is that it's not about making a work of art. It's not about making your best work and putting it out there for people to see. It's really about self-expression. So it's almost like going back to pen and paper. And you know that everyone is uh, using the exact same tool. We don't have layers, nothing. So it's, right, it, it really right. changes uh -huh. the, the way people think about Okay. What they need to do, and there's a lot less pressure. Right. And that is important. So, okay. Different. My next question is, I'm sorry to, my next question is, I know I have very, I'm friends with a lot of really pro artists, like this, very talented. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm like ready to collect their stuff. Okay. So for someone that's really, really good, can they earn money by selling their art on data NYC? I mean, but after they are drawing it digitally, can they can they do a collection or can you explain that process of how can artists earn on the blockchain from data NYC? How does yeah. that work? So so it, it's we only have a collection out uh, and the way we did an experiment uh, when we were uh, getting into blockchain. Um, but the idea is that we're going to channel because all the work is done there and it's all collaborative and it's all uh, done in the platform. What we're doing is taking all that content. We have about 100,000 drawings right now and eventually automatically should go into, into a decentralized marketplace, right? So it will, it will be by the community deciding you know, based on, we have a gamified system, so based on popularity or right. creation and all of that, right? Well, so, my friend Jason Bailey, the art gnome, he, I saw his tweet and he said he bought Mogzara's art mm -hmm. on Dead NYC, so can you explain, what is that? Yeah, so... What, can you, so, for artists yeah. that want to learn your system... It's kind of like, I want to give them exactly what's going on. Like, specifically, can people yeah. buy, are people earning money on Dad NYC artists? Yeah, yeah. so so we, we started with this first collection, and there are about maybe 20 artists in this collection. 
and uh, we issued a uh, hundred drawings with different uh, limited editions for each. We have five levels of scarcity uh, on this particular collection. So some have 200 prints, some have 10 prints, and they're extremely rare. So it goes by levels. Anyone okay. can go in there and buy one of the copies. And um, it goes from 15 bucks to maybe $700, depending on how the ETH is. And uh, from that, when somebody buys a drawing, 70% goes straight to the artist, 30% comes back to the community. Um, because for us it's important, since everything is collaborative, it's important to, to make sure that artists also give back to the community, right? So that to, to create a sense of we're all doing this together and we're giving back. If I end up, you know, if it becomes like crypto kitties and I sell a hundred thousand dollars with a drawing, I'm going to be happy to give up, uh, give 30% back to the community. Yeah.